The development of allergies is um, basically a genetic predisposition to particular uh, antigens in the environment. However, there's a strong uh, influence that occurs as an uh, infant is developing during the first year of life. Um, and so called the um, um, dirty hypothesis. Um, a normal infant uh, will come in contact with a variety of uh, bacteria in his environment, uh, which are processed by um, so cells called macrophages and um, helper T cells. Um, the products of this uh, processing are then used to um, help the body create a mild inflammatory response in a normal uh, infant uh, to these uh, antigens, for instance, uh, dust or dust mites. Um, infants that are in a very clean environment during the first year of life apparently uh, don't get this type of uh, T cell um, input from the macrophages and thus a uh, abnormal response to these antigens is developed um, creating an allergic response uh, instead of a mild inflammatory one. Um, thus, we see in um, many developed countries an increasing incidence of allergic rhinitis and asthma, um, uh, increases of six or seven fold in uh, Western developed countries, and uh, vast discrepancies in the uh, prevalence and incidence of allergic diseases between uh, developed countries um, and uh, undeveloped countries. Uh, once um, allergy has been um, diagnosed, which can be done with a, a variety of uh, tests, and uh, most accurately probably uh, intradermal skin testing, um, treatment mo uh, modalities uh, revolve around uh, two basic um, camps. Uh, one is nonspecific allergy therapy, um, where the particular uh, um, antigen itself uh, is not really that important, and more specific um, an uh, anti-allergy therapy aimed at the particular uh, antigen involved. Um, so in the first uh, situation, uh, this is a pharmacologic therapy uh, where a variety of drugs are used um, to uh, attack the um, cascade of uh, uh, allergic uh, reaction at various uh, points along the pathway. Um, initially, our therapy is uh, for allergic rhinitis. Uh, the most effective drugs are inhalant nasal steroids, which stabilize the membranes of um, the uh, nose and nasal cavity, as well as uh, the inflammatory cells called mast cells, uh, which break apart and release their inflammatory mediators. Second line of therapy are antihistamines, both intranasal and oral, which counteract the histamines once they're released. Um, a third layer of therapy includes um, mast cell uh, inhibitors, uh, which are also nasal sprays applied to stabilize the mast cell and reduce its uh, susceptibility uh, to the antigen before it is applied. Um, lastly, uh, leukotriene inhibitors, which are um, drugs that uh, uh, counteract the other inflammatory mediators that are released can also be applied. From the specific therapy standpoint, uh, once the patient's uh, uh, particular allergies are known, uh, these uh, particular antigens can be introduced uh, uh, sub, uh, subcutaneously uh, in order to trigger a uh, blocking antibody response, uh, which will inhibit the uh, allergic response on a more permanent basis.